gimmick that can give me all my spelling bee shit. Have you watched our YouTube video with the spelling challenge? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Uh, wow, we're almost at the end of season one. 11 episode, this is the 11th, that's what we say? You know, I'm beside um, English major, you know, you know, so I have to be careful. <laughs> we're, we are now, we have one more episode left, left, which is next week to wrap up season one. And today is gonna be exciting. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, if this is your first time, let me welcome you. Welcome to the family, man. This is where you belong a long time. And if you're always here, thank you so much for watching. Now, today, tonight, this morning, tonight, whenever you're watching this, we have on the blocks <laughs> the beautiful, um, she's an MC. She's a, she's a content creator, she's a mom, she's a Christian. Let me see she's what else. She's a wife. Oh, she's Thank a you. wife, of course. <laughs> An influencer. And you know, I checked your page this morning and you have over 4,000 people enjoying you. Whoa. Her name, yes, her name is Basilia Barnaby. And then she married and she put on cuff on the side. <laughs> so Basilia Barnaby cuff. Um, how are you? I am good. Oh. I am very good. Nice to finally sit down with you because you know we this has been in the works for a while. So I'm happy to be here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all our cufflinks who are coming over to watch. Thank you so much. Well, I'm so happy. I mean, my cufflink. I'm a cufflink too. Of course, I know. I know. <laughs> yes, um, it's such a pleasure to have you. And you know, I would have, you know, I know you're, I know you're a long time people. Yes, you know, long time. Because she was, I met you at NCU, I think it right. was. Right. And you worked at NCU Media for a little while. And I think the name of your show was The Drive. The Drive. With Bastilia yes. Barna, because people want to hear the voice, you know. <laughs> like, like, we just think it's just one of the best voice, <laughs> voices you. ever. Thank but you. before NCU, you were mm -hmm. at um, Love, Love FM. FM. So talk mm -hmm. about your, tell us about your media journey. All right, so said my name is Basilia Barnaby Kof and I've been a media practitioner for over 12 years in so many different capacities. I started out at then WIC Radio which is West now NCU FM, right? I started there as a student. I worked there for two years so I got an early start but even before that I was on Love FM since I was four years old on the small people show Love 101 FM mm -hmm. and so I think I was destined to be in media. <laughs> I started working at Love FM professionally mm -hmm. though in 2009. I worked there as the host of Youth Connection, big up to DJ Rebirth who has taken over from me and as also a news reporter, full-time journalist, that's my training. Yes. So that's why I said to you, I can I can handle the questions. Yes. Don't worry. Because when she came in the hotel, I said there's a full sheet. That's I got okay. here and she said that's okay. Yes. But whoa, I mean, you know, I think I think there are some profession that suits you and fits you because you have your voice. Thank you. The voice and the looks. Right now, I feel like I look good. Just you beside me. <laughs> I'm feel like I look really, really good. All right, but then now um, you left NCU and you decided that you know, all right, you know, tell the media no. I want to start my family. I want yes. to spend time with my family. Yes. I remember that so much. Mm -hmm. uh, how is that? Absolutely amazing. I tell you, it's a God. God is just so amazing because. He knows the desires of our hearts, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. Wow. I've always been in media professionally, but when I started having children, I wanted to spend a little bit more mm -hmm. time with them. I remember when my first daughter was about two, mm -hmm. she said to me, and I had to go on a road show, she said to me, Mommy, you're leaving again? She was two. She said, can't you stay home? And you know, I felt it tugged at my heart mm -hmm. because I knew that's what I wanted to do. And when the time was right, right when my husband and I got pregnant with our second daughter, we decided to, you know, come out of the media space a little bit. And yeah, since then I have been lecturing. I lecture at, well, lectured, stop lecturing now at Northern Cameron University in the Department of Communication Studies. And see you. And yeah. I see you. <laughs> and then most recently for the past year, I have been a 
content creator, TikTok viral sensation, social media influencer, television advertisement talent, voiceover talent, MC, oh TV God. host, yes, in the past year. So I literally transitioned from radio mm -hmm. to quote unquote television. May not be, well, I've done some stuff for TV because mm -hmm. I hosted the JCDC Gospel Star Competition mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. And I've been mainly doing content creation and it has been going good. People, I, 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 I thought I was a total package, you know, <laughs> I have the total package, but you are the total package Thank because you, you, know. you, have, you have everything in one and Thank trust you. me, everything is consistent, Thank you so consistently much. beautiful, consistently just great work. But TikTok people, <laughs> people, look at this TikTok video. This video caught me, you know, and I, I had to watch it a number of times, you understand? You know, you, think, you have an idea which video is that? Um, maybe one with bubbles? I don't know. No, There's not the one so with many. bubbles. Um, you, you were getting ready for the beach. <laughs> Yes, 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 you're getting ready for the beach and you have a beach wear and then and you know, I'm ready to get hot and stuff and he really? was like, uh-uh, nah. <laughs> right. And that has been, that's my most viewed video on TikTok mm -hmm. since I started TikTok. Whoa, my so love it. you go to church, church, <laughs> you understand? But how did you start TikTok? Actually, I started TikTok by accident. I didn't intentionally try to join TikTok. I usually just scroll through hobbies accounts mm -hmm. and on a particular day I just felt intrigued and I wanted to scroll but he wasn't home mm -hmm. so I was on my phone and I don't know what I did and I linked my TikTok to my Instagram and it created an account at the time I tried to delete it but I didn't know how so I said I was gonna wait until hobby came home to delete it for me because I didn't know how to so my username first was username with a bunch of numbers yes that's how you and said then that. I said all right let me just try right so I tried two things that had to do with me in media, mm -hmm. doing voiceovers mm -hmm. for advertisements and reading a news report. After I did those, I was like, all right, let me try something else. And I tried something Jamaican mm -hmm. and it took off. Then I did a few more videos and I started going viral. And in the space of a month, I was at 10,000 followers and over a million views. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can do this. Yes, it's a TikTok world, people. It's a, I go, it's a TikTok world. You know, love it TikTok, I'm can't pass 1,000 followers. I can't reach 1,000 followers. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. But I guess I have to look at it. Probably need a complexion. Uh, no. <laughs> or maybe I'm mean, pretty here or something. Honestly, honestly, it's just, I can't even say there's a formula to mm -hmm. it, to be honest. It's just a matter of just trying something and see if it works. Because my videos that started going, my first viral video, was the video that I did about a Jamaican woman's prayer for a husband. Mm -hmm. Father God, I fall prostrate before you this morning. Praying, Father God, for a marriage that is strong like piece of two before from all the hardware. I pray for a husband that is sweet like a piece of greater cake. I pray for a husband that is good looking like the lawns out at Devon House. I pray for him to have faith like when you're in an exam and asking the Lord to bring back to your remembrance what you don't even study. I pray for him to be committed and faithful like a mosquito who decides to go bite you. God, I pray for a husband who have ambition like the containers them out of wharf, whose smile is bright like Sister Peggy Yellow Frack on a Sunday morning. God, I pray for a husband who is clean and tidy like Jesus' police record, a man who believes in you like how Jamaicans believe in ginger tea. And last but not least, Lord, I pray for a man who loves me like a ginger love stale bread. In Jesus' name, amen. And remember, some of married a long time, you know, but in my mind, I was thinking from somebody else's point of view. And that was the first video that went viral. Uh, I mean, I, I saw it as far as Iraq, Iraq pages, you know, what about people started sharing it right around the world. And so I have... Uh, I have moved from just doing TikTok videos mm -hmm. for fun mm -hmm. to turning it into a business in, ter in terms of me aligning with brands and stuff on social. So the question I want to ask, you know, is TikTok paying you? <laughs> no, you know, TikTok, TikTok no creators, no, 
all Jamaican creators don't get paid on TikTok. We're not a part of the creator program. The really? The region is not a part of the program. I can't believe that because our friends in Canada, and when yeah. I was there recently, they make money. They make money. Yeah, we don't. Not here. Oh no, exactly. that's sad. But, oh. but, you know, I always tell people mm. it's not just about what is presented to mm -hmm. you but what you can know about the situation so yeah. from doing tiktok yes. i've been consistent with a lot of my characters mm -hmm. and with my content mm -hmm. and i post them also on instagram and facebook mm -hmm. and from my consistency on tiktok i have gotten brand endorsements brand opportunities wow. opportunities to work with different companies based on my tiktok mm -hmm. so tiktok isn't paying me but i'm still using that platform in order to create other opportunities so i have no complaints no it's complaints. working yes. just be consistent people yes. be consistent no you're a family person family oriented love our husband you see jesus <laughs> like i'm the only man in the world only man in the world uncle man you see the ring you know it's the ring uncle man so she love her husband and her yes. husband is like peas in a pot and it's just a beautiful um i lo just love seeing them around thank you and the two girls mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty one pretty to the family thank oh, you but guess what now since you're family oriented we're gonna play a little game okay and it's name something okay name something right. name of the name of the game is name something all right okay name something in your house mm -hmm. that you will never share my toothbrush you want to share us one, eh, I would, but if I had a choice, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I and I don't, I don't share. I, I don't share people's toothbrush either. Yeah. So it's not just me not sharing it. I don't. I don't. Yeah. And I think so that right. I mean, no, I think I don't, share my toothbrush. Yeah. Uh, I would, I <laughs> but I share everything else. But I don't the toothbrush. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. I'll go buy one. You should share the rug. I'll share the rug. Yeah, mm -hmm. the rug is fine. But I would share the toothbrush. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or name something in your house. You would you would hide whenever there's a visitor whenever there's a visitor this is something that you would hide or probably hide i would hide if there's a visitor ah uh, something in my house something in my house that i would hide if there's a visitor i'd probably hide some of the things my children play with you know you buy them toys all mm -hmm. the time but for whatever reason and it's not just my children they prefer pay with old box and old buckle and i'm like we buy, we buy toys for you mm -hmm. they want to play with the hoggies box so you know those things that create some kind of mess i just kind of just put it in the back until you know the okay. visitors done because you want to make sure the visitors yes, come they're yes, clean, yes, they're yes, clean. Nice and clean yes. okay 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 or right, name something in your house that you would hide from your family members hide from my family members maybe something that I want to eat and enjoy by myself. I don't want to share. Like the other night, my husband was looking for me and I was in the room, in one of the rooms in the dark. And he was like, what are you doing in the dark? I'm like, shh, may I eat one? Rice scripts is free. <laughs> I don't want the kids to hear it and come around here. So maybe it's, if it's something that I really want to enjoy by myself, I'm not selfish, uh -huh. but you know, sometimes you just want a little thing for just you. And you just want to take your time. You don't want I just rush want to take my time. I don't want to rush it. Yes. All right. Name something in your house that you will grab in the in in case of an emergency. Apart from my children and my husband. Oh yeah, grab your children and little passport and the money and everything. I grab my children them first. My husband will help me grab them. Them first. But you say apart from them, because mm -hmm. that's a, I think that's a given to grab your children in case of well emergency. well for you there are oh. some there are some out there will grab other valuables no i grab my children first mm -hmm. and my husband they can manage your husband then, yes <laughs> hey, <laughs> trouble take you know yeah, me shot fit you. Fit me shot fit you. so i'll grab them first and then grab my phone and the thing that we have all our documents in like birth certificates passports that. okay all right that's fair name something that in your house that you dislike but it's only there because your husband likes it that's a dislike it's only there because my husband likes it but me dash it to already <laughs> <laughs> me dash it to already so i don't um, only there because my husband likes it i'm looking around in the house right now 
let me tell you what a dash wear. He had a burgundy turtleneck shirt that I disliked. And so one night after I'm worried, I was taking out the dash to it. And I'm a look for it, sir. <laughs> you know. I'm a look for the shirt. See, he knows about it now. But yeah, I'm going to dash it to it. But let me see. Something else in the house. Only there because my husband likes it. Um, I can't think of anything simply because we have a lot of shared interests. So I can't think of anything other than that burgundy shirt, which we dash for a long time. Okay, all right, name something in your house that you never run out of. Tissue. Tissue? House full of girls. Tissue. We don't run out of tissue. This was all the tissue that one. Me don't know how it goes. <laughs> I don't know how it goes. Three <laughs> girls, one man. Tissue is always in you. So I, I never run out of tissue. I thought we were going to say food. Well, um, never run out completely of food. Okay. But it's because with food now you can just easily just go and get something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I never run out of food. But you can easily go and get tissue, can't you? Yeah, but that more urgent. You can imagine an urgent <laughs> case. <laughs> so tissue, food, I never run out of things for the girls. Yeah. Alright, name something in your house that only you and your husband use. Or cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you mean use it in general? I don't know. It's in the house and it's just you and him alone use it. The stove. Oh, the stove. The kids can't use the oh, stove the yet. Use the stove. Yeah, okay. and, and operate our cameras. Okay, all right, all right. Um, name something in your house that you want your visitors to see. So when the visitors them come, the office. Oh, and I need to send you a picture of this. We have a huge canvas print. Okay. Of our family, people. yes, of our family picture, mm -hmm. our family po portrait that we did last year, and I'm so proud of it. I love it. So it's printed on a huge canvas, Ooh. and it's right in the living room. So all of the visitors never did plan to come that living room want to come in there so that they can, can see, see the portrait. Wow, mm -hmm. I know how those portrait can look. Portrait <laughs> can look good. All right, the final thing is name everything in your house that starts with S. S. Mm -hmm. Sock. Mm -hmm. Skirts. Mm -hmm. Skirts. Skirts. What skirts are we? S. Oh. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so socks, skirts. Uh, let me start from my room. Socks, skirt, shampoo. Uh, stands. I have phone stands and light stands and all of those. Studio. Studios. Uh, a big old so you have studios, okay? <laughs> no, you have to make use of their house. <laughs> um, studio, let me see. Salt. Um, Is she looking in every yes, room? Yes, I'm looking in every room. What's your kitchen here? Tell me what's your kitchen here. Uh, what's in the bathroom with the S? I said shampoo. Let's go in the living room now. Okay. She has got your Okay, okay. Alright, so now I'm down at the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I said salt already. Mm -hmm. Stove. I have. Um, Alright, yeah, you see people? You see, because I want Nicole's living room, they ask me everything about start with S, the stove. <laughs> 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 so, but nice. All right. So, after leaving um, NCU, you created um, this initiative, this big project. Um, it's called the Sterling. Wow. So, people, if you don't so know, um, the Sterling Gospel Awards is in the package. You know, she created it. Talk to us about Sterling. So, the Sterling Gospel Music Awards is Jamaica's only national gospel. Can you repeat show. only? It's the only national gospel awards show which aims to highlight and recognize the immense talent that we have in the gospel music industry this year we're going to be six years old can you believe it six, six years old already so long you to you no i was doing it while oh I was yes, yes, yes 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 you were you were yes i left NCU in 2018 mm -hmm. so it's been almost three years four 
years? 2018, 2019. Definitely get your chest first. 2021. Oh, wow. Mm. It's been so long. Oh, my goodness. Thank yes. You. So, Sterling was birthed from me not seeing, because I'm very active in the gospel music industry as an MC, was a radio host, among other things. And I always saw the need for us to have an award show for ourselves. Mm. Because there have been other awards where, you know, gospel is given like a one category, but I never really felt like it truly represented what we have to offer. And you can't really run mm. the secular awards either because, you know, they're not as invested in, in our industry as in theirs. And so, I decided that you know what I'm gonna create something for us something mm -hmm. that belongs to us mm -hmm. something that we can look forward to something that can be used to sweeten the labor mm -hmm. of those who are in the gospel music industry so that's where it came from and I, I tried to get it off the ground several times before it actually did and it was hard mm -hmm. it was hard as with anything else it was hard but I was relentless mm -hmm. and I decided that, you know, because I know that this is something that the Lord has instructed me to do. I, I tried and tried until we finally got to the ground in 2017 and it has been, it has become a household name and it's I'm really so cool. grateful to God. You know, the pandemic really, really, um, liquid six in 2020, two days before mm -hmm. the awards was held had to cancel it because that. COVID presented itself but you know I am a firm believer in all things working together for our good to them that love the Lord and so when it was cancelled and we had to rework the show completely and go virtual we moved from being in a space with a capacity of 500 people to going on national TV and radio and registering 1.2 million people tuning in yeah, I remember so that. God is good. Yes, I mean, <clears throat> well, well, I think you're in a perfect position to tell viewers um, what does it mean to stay true to your dream and follow your your God. Sometimes I got talked to you and I said, "This is where we are supposed to go," but we don't listen because we want to do our own thing. So tell us, you know, tell us what we need to do to just always listen to that call and follow our dream. You know, one thing I, I always believe in is following my heart and following my conviction. And because when, when God deposits something in you, I think it's fueled by passion and purpose. Mm. And even when the passion is being pulled in different directions because of maybe difficulties and all of that, purpose must remain at the forefront of what you're doing yes. and so no matter what it is that i'm doing because i know it's purpose mm. you know matter what fling pan me you know matter where people say about me you know matter what come my way mm. i keep pushing because mm. purpose has to prevail wow. purpose has to prevail over pressure purpose has to, has to prevail over problem purpose has to prevail over anything that can come in the way of it being fulfilled and because i have that outlook on life in general and i'm very purposeful and deliberate about the things that i do can't stop me if i say i'm going to do it if god says i am to do it it can't stop purpose people that's a word that's a word you know everybody comes on the show give a word but here one of us there we're going to play another game okay and you're in media a long time mm -hmm. and people you know you must have studied english or mastered the english language Let's hope. to be on media <laughs> so we're gonna play the spelling bee game Lord, <laughs> the worst game you could have come give me oh my spelling bee jit have you watched our youtube video with the spelling challenge oh you did that on youtube oh my Purpose, you know, I'm following you know and say, let's give us guys. Baby. Let me tell you from no, I, I'm not confident in spelling. I can... some, some easy words, though. okay? All right, easy let's see, words. Let's see. people. 10 words. Let me see Lord how many you can get. And look here, just type it in the chat as we call it. Make sure you put the right spelling. Oh my god, and you know, when I put on the spot, this is when I get them wrong. <laughs> okay, let's All right, the first see. word, the first word today for you, ma'am. And please ask me the meaning because they never write the meaning for this. Okay. <laughs> All right, conscientious. Conscientious. Mm -hmm. May I have the root? <laughs> La Latin. Con 
me have to write it. That's how I learn. Well, it is. well, there's no writing right now. C O M S. Conscientious. Con. The word is conscientious. Con what? I'm going to spell it wrong now. Conscientious. See, so I'm going to spell it wrong now. Well, I don't that? know. I just want the spelling. And when you're finished, you know, you know. So I'm going to know. I'm going to know. C-O-N-C-I-E-N-T-I-O-U-S. I don't know. That's correct. I like it. <laughs> That's correct. So that's one out of ten. Okay. Two. Foreign. Foreign? Yeah. F O R E I G N. She bright. A bright, bright girl. Bright, bright girl. Two out of, two out of Don't two. Don't let that boost me up now, you know. Come give me the other words before you start. All right. You know. The other word is hierarchy. Is hierarchy. Hierarchy? Yes. H E. Say the word? Hierarchy. Hierarchy or hierarchy? Hierarchy. What? Hierarchy. Hierarchy. Or hierarchy. Me no know no word named hierarchy. There's a word named some people, I'm not pronouncing it right. Hierarchy. No, hierarchy. Hierarchy. What? That's how the word go. Alright, let me try to spell it. Me know. That's how the word go, people. H. Great, spell it. Hierarchy. H. E. I A R C H Y. Incorrect. It's H I. Oh, H I E. So the word pronounced. What I pronounce it right? Hierarchy. Yeah, I guess. I was thinking of hierarchy. Hello, the bright people. I'm watching. Sinner, somebody know them. I'm correct me. Hierarchy. But it's hierarchy. What is the, okay. the I before the E? And that's okay, where it's okay. always. Hierarchy. Right. Okay, okay. All right. Maneuver. Maneuver. M A N E. That's correct. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Occasionally is, another, is the other word. Occasionally? Yeah. O C C A S I O N A L L Y. Hello, people. She are right. You don't know how to put it. That is. Super Robert That's correct. The other word is possession. Possession. O S S E S S I O N. That's correct. The seventh word, mm -hmm. broccoli. Broccoli. You should ask me the meaning for that. It's a green thing that you eat with your food. B B R O C O L L I. That's all. Hold on. B R O Bro. Two C or one C. Hold on. B R O C O L L I. That's incorrect. B R O C C O C C. So that's B R O C C O L I. Yeah, I'm always yeah, I'm always doubling up the wrong one. Yeah. You never write good in your hand. That's why. That's it, true. You hand me go I write it good enough, but me never did a look. Yes, the B R O C C O L I. Okay. All right. The other word is supersede. Supersede. Supercede, S U P E R C E D E. That's incorrect. <laughs> and that's a supercede? It's an S, S E D E, and that's where people really? always get it wrong. So it's S U P E R S. That's a supercede? Yes, ma'am. Oh, bruh. Me no shame. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. the other word is show for. A silly routine of people, so she have to get this often, so she have to know when she write down. You know, I don't, her... I don't write it, I just say it. Oh, you just say it. The show is here, the show is here. A problem, this no one? C H A C. 
And of course, Vardy knows how to spell this word because he got it wrong in spelling B and so. Yeah. Oh, it was on your thingy? Yeah. C H. I'll show off a spell again. C H A U F F E U R. Right, that's correct. <laughs> Is that cool? She learned. I am not talking about she remember the things then. Okay. And the final word mm -hmm. is liquefy. 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 L I Q U I F Y. That's so incorrect. Hold on. L I Q. Liquefy. Yes, miss. L I Q U I F Y on this as well? That is incorrect. L I Q U E. Oh, well, we still not sure. F Y. She put I. She mix up. Yeah, mix up liquid. Right. Liquid. Yeah. Okay. So I think you got what, right? So you got three wrong or four yeah. wrong? We're I'll still, go with three wrong. You're still, you're still good though. Thank you. Because if you forget the word of a spell, <laughs> you know, you know it's, it's, you know what's crazy about spelling words? You see, because we're so used to autocorrect mm -hmm. and being able to just Google the spelling, a lot of times, like, I forget the spelling of words. And two, because I do more speaking than writing. Mm -hmm. And with the age of technology, you can just find the right spelling. So yeah. You know what we don't remember anymore? Numbers. Like Gone what? were the days you remember everybody number because you have a bigger call. Oh yes, it's true. You have a bigger call it's and true. you know you have a teeth for like a card here and there. I only know my And you have a teeth for people credit. No people still teeth credit? See you never remember the numbers, them and something. I only know my husband's number. Why? It's kinda it's kinda embarrassing, but to call my mommy sometime if I kinda you know, I'm hey Siri, call mom. mom. Right? <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Siri. So, when you're typing, it's so difficult, but you know. Mm -hmm. But, alright, so, uh, you're, you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. Wow. And something is so fresh, um, fresh and refreshing about you. I mean, nothing wants sparkling jewelry. <laughs> you know, that kind of jewelry, you know. Mm -hmm. you, don't wear, you don't wear those stuff. And, um, only the wedding band, yeah. only the wedding band bands people only wear them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in our conversation, you surprised me by telling me that you are not an Adventist. People know Adventist girl is yeah. you know Adventist Christian, good looking church, summer school yeah. director, superintendent, <laughs> no. elder, a well leader, papa and a director. No. I'm not You've never been an Adventist? No. Because you work on NC Radio, so mm -hmm. people believe that you're an Adventist. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That, that's where the misconception came in, because I worked at NC UFM. But I've never been an Adventist, still not. Mm -hmm. I am a born and grow apostolic. Apostolic. Yes, I am an apostolic. Mm -hmm. And I've been an apostolic since birth. <laughs> people may never know that. That was such a big <laughs> surprise. You know, because she really does. She really looked like an Adventist on the radio, working on NCFM. Yeah. But what, what, what was that like? You know, working. Mm -hmm. You know, because I am very familiar mm -hmm. and used to the ethos of the Seventh day institution and the church, it was not hard for me to conform because I know, I know what they stand for. I went to NCU. I used to work at WIC Radio, and so working at NCUFM was it was a no-brainer, and it it was an amazing three years. I loved the working environment. I loved my coworkers. I loved being on air. Loved our fans, our followers. So those three years were very good. Of course, we couldn't play my nice gospel reggae like what I was used to at Love FM. Yeah, yeah we couldn't play my Prade, my DJ Nicholas. But you know, I, I found other ways to incorporate our Jamaican gospel with the softer versions of songs and stuff. So it was good. It was an amazing three years. So at no point in time uh, throughout your journey at West Indies College um, uh, and also NCU and then to the studio, at no point you feel convicted. No. No. She's strong, you know? She's very strong. I, I'm convicted in what I already believe in and yeah. in being an apostolic so no i've never felt convicted i've never and i've never been intimidated either mm -hmm. because i know what i stand for yeah. and because i wasn't an adventist i also it was it was never a case where i took offense to people who found out that i was not adventist i'm like ah oh, no 
it's okay, you do you. Mm-hmm. And allow me to do me. So Well yeah. what I love about the apostolic them you know, people, the females, no pants, <laughs> bed, skirt, church, skirt, market, skirt, beach, skirt. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Everywhere is a skirt. No, so you don't wear pants. I wear, I wear. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see. Like, if I'm going hiking, obviously I'm not going to wear a skirt to go hiking. But your church must wear a skirt. No, you never said so. Oh, your church said No, the church said wear a skirt, but we're talking about imagine me climbing a hill in a skirt. That makes sense to you? But you're supposed to wear your skirt just every time you have a beach, you wear your skirt. No. I have big Jamaica shirt. No, I tell me no one John. <laughs> there are times, mm-hmm. like when I'm working out, mm-hmm. I would wear my, my workout mm-hmm. leggings or stuff. But apart from that, no, I don't wear pants. Okay, that's nice. That's that's a really fun fact about Basilia. I mean, I know a lot of you, a lot of you watching didn't know that she's not an Adventist uh, um, because um, I think you were saying to me that Adventist and Apostolic they were they are close um, in terms of how we look look and should how we can operate because mm-hmm. Apostolic don't wear jewelry no and so so does um, Adventist they don't um, no they, they are not supposed to <laughs> uh, <laughs> they are not supposed to <laughs> yeah, that's the with a big old chain All right, right. There. <laughs> Uncle Everett, you know, you know, um, Everett Brown is the president, you know. I, mean, I know Everett. You know, Uncle, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, the principle that say what you believe in, right? That's the message we're living with. <laughs> she set me up, you know. Yeah. But I'll pick up on TikTok with this. <laughs> Alright, so, alright, we have one final a game to play with you. Okay. And you're going to love this. So, I'd ask you, what are your favorite fruits? Oh! You said pineapple. No. Oh, you're not saying like pineapple because pineapple always saw. I'm just saying, what's the problem with your pineapple? Because there are a few sweet pineapple here and there. Pineapple, don't ever scratch my throat. Okay, but uh. So, I'm but, ever sour. So, you like um. I like strawberries. Strawberry. I like grapes. A fern pig, fern something you like in a strawberry and grapes. I am. I'm a choice of more. I'm just eye up your song. Yes. Grapes and strawberry, you know, now, you know what you're going to take coming in Jamaica? I like mango. Oh, you like mango. I'm going to tell you a mango, but. Yeah. And, and what else? Uh, I'll take the apple. Mm-hmm. I like watermelon. She said watermelon. Watermelon. Alright, yeah. so, people, you want to stay tuned for this? Alright? Bass? Why are you looking so nervous? This is the first time we're making history on the show. It's the first time I'm going to compete with one of my guests. And. She says she loves watermelon and me says so she says so. You yeah, that's some it. strawberry <laughs> or some grape medicine. You know, I went to Mega Mart and you know, we got some watermelon and I asked them to cut it nicely. And you know, put them even them out. Come in one. Basilia says she get a bigger, we get a bigger one than, than her. So we asked them to cut it nicely and give it a sweet one. So if you know sweet bass, Mega Mart, not me. <laughs> so again, okay. we're making his, um, history because it's the first time I will compete. So basically, we're going to put a minute on the clock, people. And we're going to see, with our hands behind us, let's see who first can, you know. Lord, have yeah. mercy. <laughs> Look how this man is going to make me mess up my makeup, <laughs> mess up my lipstick. <laughs> wow. So we're going right. to do this first, so, eh? uh, uh Yes, of course. Let's, okay, let's, let's take off. We can't eat it up. <laughs> I don't eat wrappers on Wednesdays. Oh, not on Wednesdays. No. No. Come on, the lady. Come on, come on, give me one little bit of mine, man. No, you get a little one in a cabin. <laughs> Let me get a little one on the neck box. Well, alright. Mmm, this smells good. I have to hold my hair, you hear? I my hair just do. Oh my god. So I can't have it down in the juice. So I'll hold my hair. Oh, see, oh yes. yes. Once you're not touching the watermelon with your hands. People, who are you cheering for? I know it's me now, cause. Mmm. I said it properly. Yeah, you're cheering for me. Yeah, you're cheering for me. Alright, so we have a minute, people. Just a minute to see, you know, who can eat the well, eat it. All of the watermelon. Let's see. Let's see. Eats to share. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, eat. Ready? Count us off, please, Mr. Producer. Ready? Let's see. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's a king in me, there's a champion in me. You know, so they come out to watermelon, you know, you know, people go on to the final up on TikTok and say, must say anything if you eat watermelon fast. She said, but the grape or, st or strawberry, a foreign, a foreign girl, is that? <laughs> but yes, I mean, that was fun, I enjoyed that. All right, Bastille, so talk to us now, tell us what's next for you. Mm -hmm. So it's really just a continuation of what I've been doing mm -hmm. in terms of more good content, more just doing life and just enjoying the journey. My husband and I and our family, we have a YouTube channel called Stuff From The Cuff, so you can check us out there where we talk all things marriage and family. We're fun, inspirational, we're real and we're educational. Mm -hmm. And Sterling is coming up as well. I'll give you that info later on. But Sterling is coming up and just other things in the pipeline that's aligned with really what I'm doing now. I look forward to more brand partnerships, mm -hmm. more opportunities to work with different people. One thing about my job now is that it has opened the doorway in terms of the kind of people I have access to. And that for me is just amazing. So I look forward to working with other brands, other companies and aligning more with them and just continue to just do good work. Well, people, let me tell you something. Basilia, mm -hmm. She pretty up your event. If you're looking on the screen now, I think she was hosting right here the um the the Jack Jarrias. Jarrias? Yeah, Jarria. Jarria. I mean, and look how she pretty up the stage. You just want to see she looks so pretty. So I know if you want the event to look good. So tell us about the events that you would do. Okay, so I do gospel events, I do corporate events, I do national events, I do launches, concerts school programs, AGMs, anything for corporate in terms of corporate events, awards, anything that is an MC, right, I, you can call it me. Oh, that right! You see? <laughs> see, I hear a voice, I hear the voice, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it, Basile. And um, we can find you on TikTok. Yes, you can find me on TikTok, <laughs> Instagram, and Twitter at Basilia B. Cuff. I'm trying to up my presence on Twitter. Uh, I am very active on TikTok and Instagram, mm -hmm. and you know, try out the thing on TikTok, on Twitter. Twitter. And you can also find me on Facebook, Basilia Barnaby Cuff. There are two pages of me there one a fan page and my friends page that you can follow and see my stuff. And you can also find me on YouTube at Stuff from the Cuffs. Wow, wow, wow. Just so beautiful. Thank you. It's a, it was such a pleasure to have you. Like, Thank I mean, so I really enjoyed this, <laughs> and I know you. you're watching. You would have enjoyed this. You'd have seen a different side of Basilia. I mean, the watermelon thing can get to my head. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> I got like a rat that's right up the top of the watermelon. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I mean, we're closing out this season. This season would have focused on the top creatives, top creatives in um, in the gospel industry in Jamaica. And Basile is here, so you know, so she's one of the top of the top of the top. Uh, one more episode left in this season, which is next week. So you want to tune in for that, Basilia, Thank you so much for coming. Thank My you pleasure. so much for accepting and believing. My pleasure. You know, because sometimes a lot of people, and you know this, people don't believe. Um, um, in your vision or in your product readily 
and there are many of us who are watching this we're struggling because we want to start something we want to do something you would have left um, your media career to start something new and also you would have um, created your own initiative as well what are the motivational factors um, you can leave us with to stay true to your dream and, 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 and know that anything or everything is possible don't give up don't give up if it's something that you believe in take deliberate steps to get towards that goal don't make nobody tell you so you can't do it and you know what i found is sometimes people don't believe in the dream right away but the only person you need to believe in you is you you want jesus christ right and if you believe in that make sure that you fuel that dream with passion and direction you can't just all over the place passion direction and consistency with a whole heap of hard work you can't go wrong wow beautiful i mean we can't say nothing more you can't go wrong <laughs> so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me i'm rajon brown um authenticity creates an audience and thank you for allowing me to be my authentic self and in so doing create a beautiful audience and get beautiful guests and authentic guests like Basilia. so until next week i'm out thank you for watching the total package show please remember to like share and subscribe and join me next week for another exciting episode